This video is a follow-up to my comparison of eight different brands of AA rechargeable NIMH cells. Now this time around, I was looking for AAA cells, and like the last time, the EBLs were by far the cheapest on a per cell basis, so I went for them. And they had EBLs that were rated 800 milliamp hours and ones that were rated 1100 milliamp hours. And I was curious to see what the actual difference was because the price wasn't too far apart. I got 12 of the 800 milliamp hour batteries for uh, 1299. This is from Amazon, uh, which works out to a dollar eight per cell. I got a 16 pack of the 1100 milliamp hours for 1849, which works out to a dollar 15 per cell. So there's only a seven cent difference per cell between them. So I wanted to see if the capacity was actually accurate because it seems weird that you could get for basically the same price, either 800 milliamp hours or 1100, because obviously you'd want to go for the 1100. So I used my trusty Opus BTC 3400 battery charger slash tester, that's a catchy name, to test eight of each of these types of cells. And the results were that the 800 milliamp hour cells clocked in at an average of 809 milliamp hour per cell. There was a wide discrepancy between them, but I'm not sure if that was due to charging or how they came from the factory. The 1100 milliamp hour cells came to an average of only 980 milliamp hours, which was pretty disappointing. Now, it's disappointing in the sense that it didn't meet its specification of 1100, but it's actually pretty good considering they're only seven cents more, but they have almost 180 milliamp hours more per cell. So the 1100 is still the ones to go for. It's just, I'm kind of peeved at them for lying to me about the capacity. I mean, 1100 milliamp hour is high for a AAA cell. I mean, there's only so much energy you can cram into one of these. So I didn't really expect them to reach 1100. So better part of a thousand isn't terrible, but uh, in that sense, it's kind of a ripoff. In the sense of getting what you pay for, I mean, it's really not bad. So. If you're looking for AAA batteries on Amazon and you need something with a decent capacity for a very low price, so far I've been pretty happy with the EBLs. I've been using the AA's for a while now and haven't had a problem. They also come with these nice uh, plastic cases, which is pretty good for storage. So yeah, that's all I have on this for now. Uh, if you want to see my comparison of AA cells, check out the video right here or in the description below. I'll put a link. And uh, check out my blog at s.co.tt and like this video if you liked it. and. Um, I don't know, don't dislike it. Help me out a little. Actually, do whatever you want. I don't care. That's a bad way to end the video. Ah, fuck. I'm always terrible at ending videos.